Hey guys, okay, here's a quickie for uh, mostly the Mac users, but you can do it on PC as well, creating macros. So I've discussed this a little bit, but you can see uh, an example of how it would be helpful. Okay, so you know if you want to create a shadow right now, you have to compensate for all the different vendors. So like WebKit, Box, Shadow, you know, you may have something like this. But then you have to do uh, things like copy it a couple times, and then, you know, replace it for Mozilla. So what you could do here is you could have a class, so if you're using something like Sass or Less, you could create this as a class and add it, but still, not everyone uses that. So an easy way to get around this is to find a macro program. So the, the macro tool I use for Mac is called Keyboard Maestro. I think they have like a 30-day uh, trial of it if you want, Keyboard Maestro. I'm not promoting them. I'm sure there's some free ones available around the web too. Anyhow, uh, for PC, I'm sure there's something as well. But you can record a macro that'll do this for you, and it'll save you time. So to give you an idea of how it works, uh, let's say I do my shortcut, which is VCSS for Vendor CSS. And it's going to go and modify that for me. So if I do something like WebKit border radius, three pixels, Vendor CSS, it's going to take care of that for me, and it's just a simple macro. So let's build that together. It's very easy. Uh, this is what I have so far, but I'm going to delete it, and we'll do it from scratch. Uh, so the first step in Keyboard Maestro, create a new macro, assign it a string, a VCSS, and then make sure it deletes those, because you obviously don't want that. And then we're going to record our actions. So let's do it together first. The first thing I want to do is select the line. So your macro will be different depending upon which editor you use uh, because you know different keyboard shortcuts. For this one when I type it it's going to delete that and then I want to select the line, copy it, create a new line and then go back to the beginning and then change that to Mozilla then copy it again go back to the beginning and then just get rid of that entirely. So we can do that from scratch here. So I'm going to click record. The first thing I want to do now is to select the line on the Mac. I press Command Option L, and then I'm going to hit left. Or I'm sorry, copy. Next, I'm going to hit right to go to the end of the line and enter to create a new line. Next, I'm going to paste in that. So now we have two lines of WebKit. So now I need to change that that prefix to Mozilla for the second line. So again, I'm going to hit Option Command L to select the line contents and then left to go to the beginning of the line and then I'm going to hit shift option right which will select the word so at this point WebKit will be selected and I'm going to change that to um, dash mos okay and that should be good so now I'm going to go to the end of the line enter and we're going to paste it in again so now we have our third line so now I need to do it again go back to the beginning of the line and then uh, at this point we just need to get rid of everything so I'm going to hit shift option right and then right again to get rid of that dash and hit delete hopefully I did that right sometimes you'll have to play with it let's try it out vendor CSS and there you go pretty easy and this will work with uh, oh one problem though VCSS so we need to make sure that we simulate four delete clicks again so let's try it out one last time really easy now, one thing you need to be aware of is, in this case, I'm assuming that WebKit will always be first. Uh, so you can't do Mozilla first, because then the second line would be Mozilla as well. But WebKit border, radius, three pixels, vendor CSS, and that takes care of it for you. And it's just using any macro program. So take advantage of these. It'll save you a lot of time. All right, bye.